Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In previous video, we have seen how to give access to a user on a particular site and and later how to remove that user from that site permanently. Now on this video, we'll see how to stop inheriting permissions from parent folder and how to give unique permissions on files or folder. So guys, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's demonstration. Okay friends, so in previous video we have created this kind of a structure and first of all we have a site then we after site we have created a library then folder and then files. Now th there is a permission in the site level and it's inheriting the permission in this way. So whatever users have permission on site they are automatically getting permissions on library, folders and files. Now we want users to have unique permissions on folder. On folder we don't want user to inherit permission from their parent library and site. We want unique permissions and we want only few users to have permissions on folder. But we want the permissions on file level to come from the parent site and library. So we only want unique permissions on folder. So how it could be possible? Because whatever permission will be on folder, it will inherit to files. So let's see how we can achieve this. Okay friends, so now we are on our lab environment. I have opened SharePoint Admin Center. So first of all, we will open our site test. Let me open it in new tab. Okay. Okay. Now let's open document library, which we have created just after my site test. Then we have a document library and inside and in document library, we have document folder and inside it, we have one document. So let's open permission levels on site first. So I will click on this gear icon. I will click on site settings. And now I will click on site permissions. Okay, so this is the permissions on my site level. Now let's open the permission level for document library. We'll go back. So this is my document library. I will click on this gear icon. I will click on library settings. Here I will open permissions for this document library. Okay, so we have opened it. Now let's go to the permission level of this document folder. I will click on these three dots. I will click on manage access. Here I will click on advance. So now we are on permissions of our document folder. Now at last we have to open the permissions for our document, which is inside document folder. Let's open document folder. Click on this particular document in the three dots. Click on manage access. Scroll down and click on advance. Okay, so we have opened all these four permission levels in different four tabs. So in the site level, you can see some content. Okay. You can see permission are same on on you can see as of now the permission level is same on test document library document folder and my document now as we have discussed i want a unique permissions on folder level we do i don't want this folder to inert permission from its parent test so how we can do this and we want the same permissions to be over here. So let's see how we can do it. Now, first of all, to stop inheriting permission from the parent, I will click on stop inheriting permissions. Yes. You can see captech.sharepoint.com says you are about to create a unique permissions for this folder. Changes made to the parent folder document library permission will go, will no longer affect this folder. So we'll say, okay. So now you can see we have a unique permissions on this folder and now and now we will select remove user permissions. It will say are you sure you want to remove all permission for selected users and group on to document library we will click on OK. Now you can see there are there are no users listed over here. Now if I will go to my document and now let me refresh this. If I will refresh this page. Now you can see the same permission level is here on document folder because this document inerts permission from its parent document folder. But 
as we have discussed i want the same permissions which is on document library to be on particular document so now let's see how we can do this so first of all on permission documents i will stop inheriting permissions it will again prompt a message i will click on ok now you can see this document had unique permissions i will now grant permissions now in document permissions i will enter all these all these groups here as well so let me see the name like we have a excel service viewers test members test owners and visitors so let's type the name over there first of all i will type excel so this is a group excel service viewers then we will type test viewers okay so it's showing test visitors first then we will add test other group test members then test owners okay test visitors test member test owners let's see how many are left now so we have only okay so we have added all the four over here now we'll click on share Now, if I will refresh this page, you can see we have only edit permissions over here for all these groups. And but here we have view only edit, contribute, full control and read. But in document folder, you can see we still have unique permissions over here as well. Now you can see the permission level is changed. Now there are limited access users on this site and user may have limited access if an item or document under the site has been shared with them now you can similarly edit the permissions of test members test members have edit and contribute permissions you can click on edit user permissions select the edit and contribute as well click on ok let me change the use permission level for these two as well Okay friends, so I have changed I have changed the permission level for all these my groups. Now you can see the permission level which are on document library is now same on my document. So let let's log in with user credentials on incognito mode. Let me sign in. So okay we have logged in with the credentials of happy i will open new tab i will paste the url i will press enter so you can see happy is able to access the site test now let's see if he is able to access document library or not i will copy the url of document library we'll go on same browser let me open the new tab i will paste here so you can see happy can access the document library but he is unable to see the folder inside it because we don't have given the permission to happy to access the folder now let's try to access document so we'll minimize this i will open this document folder i will copy the link of this document okay so let's try to access the document using url press enter so you can see happy is successfully access the document let me minimize it so friend that's how we can stop inerting permissions on any level and we can give user permission on any level and stop inerting permission from it its parent that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video